Hey, welcome to another uh, edition of Abate TV, Chicago Abate. My name is Patrick Jones. I'm the president of Chicago chapter of Abate of Illinois. And to my right is the lovely... Diane Shapiro, director of safety and education. Your next... Circuit Court Clerk, God That's willing. Right. That's right. Diane, uh, would you be so kind as to read that so sure. Mr. Harper doesn't uh, start busting our balls about that? Yours, not mine. The mission of Abate oh, of Illinois... Some is to preserve the universal right to a safe, unrestricted motorcycling environment and to propose and advocate actions that can be taken by elected and appointed officials to protect and conserve the natural resources of the state of Illinois and ensure through professional management the sustainable use, recreational opportunities, and enjoyment of these resources is available for this and future generations. To fulfill this mission, we will safeguard the rights of all motorcyclists, endorse safety programs and education programs, promote unity through involvement, advocate political awareness and activism, promote motorcycling enjoyment. All right. Thank you for that rousing speech. I almost couldn't... Uh, I was trying to fall asleep through it. I couldn't. But, like I said, my name is Patrick Jones, and we're here to talk about motorcycle safety, motorcycle awareness, and uh, we got some events coming up that we're going to be promoting. Also tonight in the studio, we do have a special guest. We have Ron Jeremy's younger brother, Harley Charlie. Uh, he's going to be talking about motorcycle porn tonight. Oh yes. Okay. So if you want to call in, this is a live. Oh, thank you. Thanks, T. If you want to call in to the live show, call us at 312-738-1060. If you want to hit us on the cell, nothing dirty that I can't almost read or forget to not read. It's uh, 708 280 6053. So hit us, send us some pictures. Selfies, girls, want to send some selfies? I know it's springtime. You're all laying around the pool. Pool motorcycle selfie pictures. Okay, here's an advertisement. We got a bunch of uh, stuff on the uh, state's website that you can download. This is just one of the things you can download as uh, 8.5 by 11. You can download it as a poster. So if you want that, go to abate-il.org, download that, and have a good time. Uh, congratulations going out to Chicago Chapter of Llama. Look at this. It didn't go, it didn't go just exactly right. Uh, Chicago Chapter of Llama, they had their spring trophy party. There were bikes as far as you can see. Uh, Illinois Harley came out, brought some bikes out to uh, show off, and if you wanted to buy them, you could buy them that night. It was a good time, a lot of food. In fact, tonight, after we leave here, we're headed over to Lama, 3519 Fullerton Avenue, for wings. Good wings. Rick's buying your first wing when you come through the door. So, Rick, get the wings ready. Uh, I brought this tonight. I'm not going to put it on the overhead because there really is too much to read. But this is all the things that Abate of Illinois has done for you over the years. And believe me, they start off in 1983-84 with the 83rd General Assembly, and they go up to today of what Abate of Illinois has been doing for you. So if you're not a member, you can join. Come out to the meetings. We have our meetings on the third Wednesday of the month at the brewery, 3848 North, North Harlem Avenue. I'm going, I'm thinking about those wings. I'm going to wings. <laughs> Look, Charlie's like, wings. He's over here drooling about the wings. Come on, Chubby, you're going with. You're going with, Chubby. lost 20 pounds. From your belly to your ass. He says he lost 20 pounds. You'll see live. <laughs> oh, he's going to show us live <laughs> tonight where he lost those 20 pounds. I can't wait. Little Charlie Jeremy. Can't wait. So, <laughs> anyways, we do have Charlie here with us tonight, and we're going to be bringing him on shortly. Here's a little bit of everything. I can't zoom in far enough. Believe me, this stuff is small when you look at it, but if you go to the website, abate-il.org, you can download all of this stuff that I'm showing you tonight. Also, we got to say a big thank you to, ready? I'll screw this up again. Kathy Fern and a secondhand soul band. Days you remember from the night you got drunk, passed out in Charlie's bar, and then didn't make your way home, woke up, something was amiss, and you don't know what it was. Yes. At MOB, you can have that good of a time. Trust me. And my cousin come out and sing for you. He will sing. And he's, wow, you were pretty damn good that night. But you were pretty drunk, too. 
So the drunker he was, the drunker he is, the better he sings. I gotta tell you. Uh, also, coming up, and this is not far off. I'm gonna tell you right now. Everybody says, when do they start Toys for Tots? Well, here's the answer. They never stop Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots is all year long. Anytime you want to make a donation, you can make anywhere. You can drop it off to us at the brewery. We'll make sure they get it. You can drop it off at their warehouse. You can call their Toys for Tots hotline, 773-866-TOYS. Go on, bring them some toys. Uh, also, when you bring toys to the toy run, you know when they run on batteries, bring the damn batteries, okay? I mean, really. Kid opens a toy, he's happier than crap, he goes running out the door with it, tries the remote, nothing. Now what? Now he's got to go get a gun, rob a store, get some batteries. We don't want that. Buy the damn batteries, would you? Cheap asses. Okay. Uh, next. See, I still have a lot of stuff from last season. So next we have our most famous picture of Gary from Northern Abate. This is what happens when, when you come to a party with the Chicago guys and... Somehow your tent mysteriously gets blown away and you get ass raped laying there face down in your sleeping bag. So if you ever want to come have a party with Chicago bait, it doesn't happen all the time. Harper, selfie from, uh oh, we got a selfie just came in from the awareness run. Gary, look at Gary laying there, still out of it. Okay, uh, selfie from the awareness run, oh, very nice. Let's uh, see what we got here. We're going to have to zoom that in. Now, they tell me that I could zoom right in. All right, watch this. All right, nice selfie. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sending that in. We'll take what right away. He wants a phone number. Wow. You know, your wife could be watching this right now. I'm telling you, she's going to know. You just asked for this girl's phone number. That's a shame. She knows you That's more. a crime. That's a crime. She can't hear you. She can only hear us. See? <laughs> it's our word against yours tonight on live TV. So, if you want to if you want to send in any more pictures or what have you, send them. 708-280-6053 if you want to call in. The number's right there on the screen. It's 312-738-1060. That's scary. Kid. We have, uh, uh-oh, I got a potty mouth. You know that's from. That's from Mrs. Mrs. Jones. All right. Chubby Danny says he's, he's, he's on his last cigar. Somebody please donate cigars to poor Danny. Okay. Yeah. Put it on. Drop it in. It's like they say in the porn industry. You know what? Just drop it in. All right. How's that? Okay. Diane's got a, a picture. It's dressed for the slide, not the ride. You know what that means? Don't fall down. Okay. Well, that's what I talk about with the kids in the classroom. That it's all well and good. You keep your keep your club clothes for the club. I think somebody moved the uh, the little labeling thing here, but you can get these stickers if you want to come out to our meeting. You can get some of these. Start seeing motorcycles. You can get them as a sticker. You can get them as a window cling. They're free. Come to the meeting. You get them for free. I didn't tell you that while you were there. You know why? You, you would have took some. Yes, I See, I, I know. I would have bought them. Let me tell you about family, folks. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Oh. So we get a call today from CPM, Chicago Park Meters. Want to know if uh, we still had parking pouches. We are running out of them, so they're going to be replenishing the parking pouches for us. If you'd like a free parking pouch, come to the meeting. What the hell's going on here? Oh, well, again, Patty Moth. All right. You know, stuff happens, I have to tell you. Anyways, there is another event coming up. I, I swear somebody moved this. So we're going to adjust again. Oh, look at that. Almost got in there. Blue Steel. Blue Steel's having their 11-year anniversary party. Saturday, June 4th. I, I hate when they say 04 June. What, is everybody cops or something? Really? Okay. Oh, they are a law enforcement club, so maybe that'll explain a few things. It's going to be at the River Park Moose at 8601 West Fullerton Avenue. Go on by. Go have a good time. Minimal donation to get in. It starts at 3, 
and it ends when it ends as long as you don't burn the place down I believe they have a band and see any Blue Steel member for advanced tickets or go to Harlem and Addison Tire and Auto and see Andy Goober Angler Lago and he'll sell you tickets right there so what else do we have for these folks tonight Diane what have you got in the training arena? I've got phone calls in. It's really unfortunate this year. It's been so bleak. I've had a couple. I've done a couple of little presentations for a couple of organizations, but not going into the schools. But uh, two of my instructors that I instructors that I usually deal with are out for the semester. One he had hip surgery, and the other one he had foot surgery. And it's so uh, I'm doing what I can because uh, for May for Motorcycle Awareness Month, I did go to a couple of schools and drop off some of the paraphernalia that says, you know, May is Motorcycle Awareness Month, just to remind people. Uh, we're working it. Okay. So um, what we're going to do next is we have a, a live guest, really a live guest. Okay. It's not often that we have live guests, but this time we do. Before we do that, though, I want to tell you about... Uh, an event that's coming up. It's coming up in October, but is it too early to advertise? Judy, save the date, 30th annual F toy and food run, blah, 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 October 9, 2016. Go out, support the cane of bait. You'll have a good time. I guarantee it. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch gears a little bit. I have a guest coming on. He's going to be talking about this. You know what this is? This is a fundraiser that they're doing for one of their members. Uh, wives, I believe. Right. So, what? Huh? Right. What? Yeah. What? Remember when? No. I can't hear you. You're wasting time. He's like Ron, he's like Ron Burgundy over there. <laughs> I'm serious. So, he, he says we're wasting time. We still got a few minutes to go, folks. Okay? So, yeah? Really? You like those but See, Dan Harper is on the phone tonight, so give him a call. 312-738-1060. He would like to talk to you about motorcycling, and I want to see him answer the phones. I really do, so call us. Right now, I'm going to show you the Blue Steel Party one more time. Diane, get the hell out of here. Uh, Mr. Jeremy, come on. We have uh, uh, Charlie Jeremy coming up right now. He's going to be talking to us about this uh, benefit. Oh, this pen, I tell you. <clears throat> All right, listen. Now, here's the deal. Right now, seriously, you're on live TV, live and it TV. does add some pounds, brother. It does. Wow. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, so tonight our guest, Harley Charlie, some of you may know him as Charlie Jeremy from some... I don't know where he got this from. He used to sell these videos. I used to buy these videos, and he was in a few. That was I just, sales. I, I, I know he was. But this is Harley Charlie. He is the president of MOB. Uh, would you like to explain who, who you are? You know, introduce yourself a little bit? Yes. I've been in the club for about seven years. We're a mom and pop club. We're at 1140 Green Street, Bensonville. We're open every Friday night after seven o'clock. Everybody's welcome. We keep the door wide open, bonfire at night, um, good music, cheap drinks. Come on by, bring your friends, family. Um, we are an open door club. We never, if anybody else goes any other clubs, a lot of clubs keep their doors closed. We don't do that because we don't have nothing to hide. We just have fun. We, um, if you need help to do a fundraiser, if you need uh, um, to... You do have some good bands, I got to say. Yes, always. And if you like to even rent the place out on a Saturday night, contact us. My number is 773-551-0437. Uh, we rent the place out for 50 bucks. It's all yours. We got the bar. And um, everybody's more than welcome. I hear you won an award at the Spring Fling. Yes, we did. No, I hear that you personally won an award at the Spring Fling. Hold on one second, caller. Charlie. See? Go ahead, put I it through. I come on and there's a caller. Go ahead, caller. Yeah. Just want to um, say always a good time at MOB. Okay. Who is this? Bumpy. Bumpy? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you at MOB right now? No, I'm sitting at home watching this thing on um, on the computer. Oh, because they're not there. They're down here at the studio. But if you get a hold of one of my members, they'll open up the door for you and be glad to have a drink with you. See that? <laughs> so meet us at Lama tonight, Bumpy. We're going for wings. Oh, okay. All right? All right. Hey, thanks for calling. <laughs> so, now, 
my understanding was that you had your bike out in the lot and you won a trophy. So <laughs> let's talk about this trophy. Okay. It's amazing. So what happens is nobody put their bikes in for a bike show. We had an area roped off. Nobody did. So we had to go out and actually pick bikes. The real random. bikers that were there might have been. <clears throat> right. There were real bikers there that day because it was a little freaking cold. Okay. So Should it matter? I understand you won an award. <laughs> okay. What award did you win, Charlie? Well, according to you. <laughs> no, no. Not according to me. What did the trophy say? The trophy says this goes to the $40,000 rat bike. <laughs> So see, you did get a trophy, but your club did get another, didn't they? Yes, we did. And? And that went to the VP for the, what was that? I don't even know, because I had the best looking bike, so I, I, I don't know what that was. Oh, you're, oh, that's right. Your vice president got an award for best in show oh. for his Indian. I don't oh. have a picture oh. of him uh, mugging for the camera that's, with his, that, that's with his trophy. That's what it is. That's what it is. Hector felt good about that. That's the first time he had hands upper you hand on me. Yeah, well, he, you know, <laughs> uh, that would be uh, Mr. Harper's decision was for the best in show. Mine was for rat bike, <laughs> of course. You know, Could have given you president's choice, but no, couldn't do that. I don't know what happened. I think somebody stole the president's choice. See? No, that was the slow race. And you got a trophy for yeah. the slow race. Right, because they stole it five years ago from me and took off. You got to hold on to your stuff, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you let a guy ride by and steal your I trophy. My wife and I won the Winnie, Winnie Bite that year. I won the slow race. I won push the keg. I was unbeatable. Really? And how did the trophy go for you for the slow race? Very slow. Yeah? What but it, but it left very quick. <laughs> so he wins, he wins the trophy for the slow race. A guy rides by, grabs it out of his hand, and takes off on his bike. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. All right. Now, let's get down to what we're really here for, for you guys, okay? Yes. You're, you're getting ready to have a breast cancer benefit for one of your members' wives? Yes, Heather McMillan. All right. You want to read this first uh, paragraph? Maybe. Wait, let me see. Well, All right. Explain about Heather, and then I'll, I'll tell you what we'll read here. How's that? Well, Heather got diagnosed at 40 years old with breast cancer. She ended up losing both her breasts. All the cancer, they got all the cancer, which is awesome. Um, but she does, she, she just found out that she has to go through chemo. So she's 50% 50, 50 chance, gonna lose all her hair. Um, that set her back to where she can't go to work. She normally works two jobs. She's got two adorable kids, uh, Emily and Frankie. And this woman is the first woman that if anybody ever needed help, she would be the first one there for everybody. It couldn't happen to the worst person. And she's still got good spirits. She's, she's up. She's, she's rolling. She's um, just, it, she's un, you can't explain how much of a good person she is. Well, you so, know what the pink is in our logo, right? The pink is for breast, breast cancer, cancer awareness for Kathy Fern. Kathy Fern, secondhand soul band. Nights you forgot from oh. days you got drunk and got roofied or something. <laughs> So we would appreciate any kind of donation. Anybody can reach out to us. Um, her benefit will be July 30th. We're going to have live band, free food, 50-50. We have tons of raffles. Anybody can donate any kind of raffles. or um, We have a tax ID number. You can reach out to one of us uh, if you want to donate anything besides uh, uh, raffles. You know, if you can donate some money or some uh, anything. anything, you, anything All right, now we're going to read this. The, the benefit on July 30th, 2016, what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. will be held at MLB Clubhouse in Bentonville, Illinois. Any and all funds raised from this event will go to the McMillan family to help ease some of the weight off, the, off their shoulders. It will also go towards future bills being incurred during the process. Please join us in supporting early detection of breast cancer, which is October, in case you didn't know. And uh, let's see. They're asking your consideration as a business organization to support this event. So if you want to get in touch with Charlie or one of the people that are helping out, his beautiful wife, she is just beautiful. I, I just love her so much. <laughs> and and her, her cousin, Don, Don Khan. Khan! <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Star Trek. And, so, our, and our best girl, <clears throat> Karen. Don't forget Karen. You can go, well, the lesser Karen, you can call her. 
Uh, oh, come on, man. Come on. She's the so, main person that runs this event. She's you can funny. call us here. You can call my cell. Everybody's got my cell phone number. 708 280 6053. Karen, we'll talk, all right? We will talk. <laughs> That's Hector's but, girl, so be careful. I'm not worried about Hector. All right? <laughs> the other day, I was looking. I go, who stuck a pack of Oscar Myers to his neck? <laughs> Now, you got to give the guy credit. He lost some weight, too. Yeah, from his belly to his ass. Weight Pat lost. Unbelievable. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making no points here, brother. Anyways, this is going to be a good time, good event. We're going to talk more about this on future shows, but I just want to clue you in that. This is going to be happening on July 30th, so set your calendars. We'll uh, have Kevin try to get it up on the website somehow, and... We'll get it all over for you, Charlie. And if everybody wants to donate mm -hmm. or just stop by, don't have to worry about donating to have a beer. We're open every Friday night, 7 p.m. Doors wide open all year round. I'm going to stop in there one day. By. I really am. You should. You I'm smoke good. cigars outside all the time, brother. I know. Well, see, the last time I was there, they had a bonfire. Now, That's I don't know every what, Friday night. I don't know what they were burning, but... There's I a fire. That's all I can guarantee you. There's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell they were burning... It smelled like old socks and, Called and donations under, and under the wire. <laughs> it was a good time, though. You guys do always have a good time at your at your clubhouse. It's always clean. It's always neat. Plus, plus they put up a big like uh, vestibule tent. Yeah. So this way you don't have to stay inside if you're freezing. Go outside, have a smoke, whatever. Mm -hmm. It is it is a good place to go party. It's hard to find, tough to beat. How about that? You're like Solozzi Edelson of the motorcycle community. <laughs> Anyways, I got to pop this out one more time for Blue Steel. I told him I'd keep it up there for a little bit. Blue Steel, don't forget, you got a party coming up uh, June, 04 June. Really? Again. Uh, Chubby. I did. Didn't you hear? Didn't you? Aren't you listening? You're over there playing on the phones. All right, our bait meetings are at 3848 North Harlem Avenue. It's a bar called The Brewery. They've got good food. We Excellent. start, it's on the third Wednesday of the month. We start at uh, 7.30 and go from there. Go ahead, send it through, Dan. Go ahead, caller. Hello? Hello? Hey. This is Kim. Yes, uh, who's calling? This is Harley's wife, Kim. Harley's Hi. wife, Kim. Hi, Hi Kim. Kim. How, How are you? you? Love you, babe. I'm okay. How are you? Good. How can I help you? I'm calling to make a point that they finally have a handsome man on. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering when you would call and say that. So you, did you uh, you understand uh, what uh, Harley Jeremy's doing on the show tonight, right? Where he got this Jeremy thing We're, we're going to be yeah, doing some no motorcycle idea. porn tonight, Kim, and you're invited. <laughs> He's always All starting right. trouble, you know that, babe. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Kim, you want to yeah. give a shout-out to anybody and uh, remind everybody about this breast cancer benefit, huh? Can she hear you? Hold on a second. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm we can't right. hold on, honey. We're on okay, live TV, sorry. right? <laughs> this isn't the Springer show. <laughs> this is live. Do a shout-out for Heather, honey. Get off, yeah, get off I'm speak. giving a shout-out to my girl, Heather, and the other two girls... That are helping along with us. Who would that be? That includes me. Well, well, we kind of read that about Don and uh, Karen. No, but then you know what? Karen is also very important, so I had to make sure you got her in there. Okay. Well, we got her in here. Don't worry. So, uh, <laughs> Kim, thank you for calling in, and uh, we'll be talking to you. Maybe I'll stop by. I hope you got some pasta ready. You know, <laughs> you do have food, right? Always. All Come right. on. She's We're going for wings. Anyways. We're going to be wrapping up the show tonight. If you want to learn more about this breast cancer uh, benefit, get a hold of us or get a hold of Harley Charlie. You can go believe me. You can Google him. Just look up any Gumby's old website. I'm over Facebook. He's, I'm everywhere. He's there. Yes, he is. And if you want a place to go and hang on Friday nights, go see the guys at MOB. Give me the address real quick. 1140 Green Street, Bensonville. 7 p.m. every Friday night. Plenty Come of by. parking. How much parking? Tons of parking. They can park 300 bikes. Bonfire. Even when it's 90 degrees out, there's going to be a bonfire. There's still going to be a fire. <laughs> All right. Mesothelioma. Learn it, folks. Uh, have a nice time. We'll see you next week. Peace, everybody.